Hey guys, so I'm coming at you from my bathroom of all places because I wanted to show you guys how I drain my stomach. So I have something called gastroparesis, which means paralysis of the stomach. And due to that, I am fed via a feeding tube in my intestines um, because my stomach does not process food. Um, so because of this, I have what's called a GJ tube. Um, essentially, it's one tube that enters into my stomach. There's a little hole outside where it enters into my stomach, like inside my stomach. And there's a tube that continues on and feeds me into my intestines. And I have access to both of those ports. Um, so I have access to my G, which is gastric or my stomach. And then J, which means jejunum, which is the piece of your intestines that my feeding tube sits in. Um, but I wanted to show you guys how I drain my stomach and yeah, I'm gonna actually show you guys me draining my stomach. Um, so if that's gonna gross you out, this is not a video for you. But I know a lot of you guys are really curious as to what that kind of looks like. And so I'm gonna show you. This is my feeding tube. So I have a little gauze around it and this is my J port right here, which is where I get my feeds, my medicine and all that stuff. But then there's another little port right here. Or no, that's my J, did I say G? Maybe I said J, I don't know. Um, and then this is my G. And so this is the extension that I use for my G. So with a button, you can take all of this out and it's just left with this little tiny piece right here. I'll show you guys what that looks like take the extensions off and you're just left with a little button that's why they call it a button it's just little like this so i can hook this extension which is taped to me right now um, into my j and then i'm gonna take this piece right here and i'm gonna close the ends this is a brand new extension i'm gonna close the ends and clamp it like this so stuff won't come rushing out of it and then i'm going to insert it into the G port right there and now I have access to my stomach so the next thing that I would do so I had some coffee this morning because I love coffee but I can't really digest the coffee very well so what I do is I try to keep it in my stomach for as long as I can um, but if I start to feel sick or anything or feel like I'm gonna throw up I will drain some of it out so the first thing I'll do is so I'm sitting over the toilet right now. I can either do this into like a special bag that's designed to hold this, or if I don't want to deal with all of that, I can just, I can either use a syringe and put it into the toilet, or I can literally just let it drain over the toilet, which is what I'm gonna do right now. Um, so then I'll open this little end right here. And then if I unclamp it, unclamp it, then that's my coffee. just gonna drain into the toilet so so then I'll just sit here until the nausea starts to ease and the pressure in my stomach so whenever I eat or drink anything I feel really really full um, and I'll just kind of sit here until I feel better or if it's all out I typically try not to drain all of it out because I try to let my stomach digest anything that it can so like if I can digest a little bit of it I want to do that um, but I just kind of sit here until I feel better and then clamp it off. So, and it typically doesn't take very long. Um, like I'm already starting to feel a little bit better, but we'll just wait a few more, maybe another minute or so. I drained as much as I need to, and I'm not going to show you guys the stuff that's drained already, but I... <laughs> And then what I'll do is I will take a syringe, get just a little bit of get just a little bit of water in it, take my extension, hook up the syringe, unclamp it again, 
and then just flush it through. That way there's nothing inside. That way the line is clear. You dump out the water that I don't need. Close this extension. And then I, if I just drain intermittently, I like to take off the little extension because then there's less like on my stomach. So, and that's it. And then I just, I just put the extension there next to my syringe and that's it. Then I'm done. So it's pretty easy, pretty simple. Um, and I do want to put a disclaimer here that draining is something that needs to be like very highly monitored by your medical team. Um, I obviously never give out medical advice because I'm not a doctor and that is not my place. Um, but draining can seriously mess up your electrolyte levels in your body if done if not done carefully and properly. Um, and that's why it needs to be monitored very, very closely. So never drain unless you have permission from your doctor and they're monitoring it. Um, so yeah, just, I always have to put that in there because draining can be really dangerous if not done correctly. Um, so yeah, that's how I drain my G, that's how I drain my stomach. Um, and I just do that whenever I need to throughout the day. And that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any other things that you'd like to see, let me know and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.